Welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video is about a removal, a bee removal that my husband and I did a couple of weeks ago. A friend of ours was clearing some, yeah, some land, and as he was doing that, uh, he found a colony of bees, and then he asked us to come and, and help him. And then when we got there, we realized that these bees were actually in a tire. And that tire was sitting on the, on the ground. And in there, my husband was just trying to clear around the, the tire so that at least we could see, see the tire and see where the bees were. It was really, you know, it was really hidden. But I think he managed to see it because the bees were flying in and out. So there he's just trying to calm the bees down, smoking them, so that they don't get into a defensive mode and then start stinging. So he removed all those weeds so that we could access, access the tire. And when he had um, removed all the weeds, we then moved the tire to a shaded area because it was hot that day. It was such a hot day, so we moved that tire so that then we could be able to, to then remove um, the comb from inside the tire into the hive. And it was, yeah, it was a small colony. It wasn't a very big colony. And in there, there was water in that tire. And yeah, it wasn't such a good place for them, really. But I suppose they liked it to make it their home. So I did the, the moving of the comb from the, from the tire onto the frames. So I just yeah I was just taking the the comb from the from the tire putting it onto a a frame and then using rubber pins rubber bands to keep that um, to keep the comb in place so that it couldn't fall. So the rubber bands will keep it in place, and what will then happen once the bees have attached that comb to the top of the frame, they will actually remove those rubber bands and they will take them outside. You'll, I'm sure in a couple of weeks or days I will find them at the front of the, of the hive. I think maybe they, they see the rubber bands as a foreign object or something because they actually remove it from inside the hive and throw it away. So that was the first frame that went in. And it seems like these bees hadn't been there for a very long time because it wasn't a big colony. I don't know if it, if it was just a small swarm or it, they, because there were actually two, there was another place that had bees, but that was in a tree close by. So maybe it was a swarm from, from the tree I don't know, because they didn't look, it didn't seem like they had been there for a long time. But they were calm. They were not trying to sting me, which was a good thing. They made my work very easy.
that one there was full of honey. But unfortunately, the honey, yeah, there was also very muddy water from the tire as well. I thought I was going to give it to the to the bees, but uh, yeah. I wanted to give it to the bees. Yeah, I think <laughs> I changed my mind and then I I think eventually I threw that away. It was really tricky to take out the comb from that tire because I couldn't see some of the comb I couldn't see it. I just had to put my hand in there and pull and just hoping that it wasn't going to break because I couldn't see inside the tire. But all in all, it wasn't a difficult removal. There went so many bees and the bees were not defensive. And I think this was my first removal. I had never rescued bees before. And I'm glad that it was actually a small colony because if it was a big one, it would have been, yeah, maybe it wouldn't have gone so well. Yeah, the visuals are not very a very great. But I wanted to record this because yeah, it was my first time and I wanted to yeah, to have a record of it so that maybe years from now when I'm an expert in doing this I can look back and say, Oh, look at how I did it the first time around. Yeah, it was very difficult to get the to get the comb out of this tire.
Oh, this one was such a big, a big piece of comb, and it had lots of fruit. But I had to cut it at the bottom because it was, the bottom part was sitting in water. I had to remove that. I had to use a super frame there because I was running short of frames. But the plan is that once they have, once I put a super, I'll move those to the top. to the hive back to where it was so that the foragers that were returning home could see that they had a new home in there. They started going in. Yeah, and we left those bees there for, for two nights and then we then picked them up and then brought them home. So this inspection was Two weeks later, I opened yeah, two weeks later just to check how they were doing. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed by them. And they seemed to be doing very well. And also on this day, I moved them to another hive. I moved them to another hive. I moved them to a bigger hive. And look at that, so many bees. And my hope is that uh, this won't turn into wonky comb, that they will manage to keep it straight. And I didn't, I put that in the end. I'm not so sure if that was such a good idea, but I put it in the end there. Because I wanted, um, I want to remove those uh, super frames eventually, so that's why I moved it on the side, so that once the 
the brood that is the hatches, I can then take out those those frames and put in the proper frames, the brood frames. So that was the reasoning for that. But whether it's okay, I do not know. But yeah, we'll see how it goes during my next inspection. They haven't started building new comb, but I'm sure they will when they need it. Maybe for now they are okay with the with what they have. Yeah, but there are there are many bees. And I found the queen. When we were doing the removal we didn't see the queen. We just hoped that she will get into the box and thankfully she did. She got into the box. So when I was doing this inspection, I actually saw her and I was so excited and she was big. She was big. I saw her, just that I couldn't catch her on camera here, but yeah, I saw her. And then here I was trying to take a picture of the queen. I tried, but I just couldn't. She was so quick to move to the other side, so I couldn't. And I think what then happened as I was doing this, I think she fell. Because the next thing, I saw the queen on a cover. And initially, I thought maybe I had two queens. The one was inside and the other one was outside. But I realized that I had actually dropped her. And I was thankful that I, I didn't lose her because I almost lost her. Because if I hadn't seen her on that cover, I would have left her outside. Mm, yeah. So at this point, the queen was outside. There she is on a cover. And I'm thankful that I saw her because if I didn't, I was going to leave her outside. The end. I don't know if she would have managed to go, to go inside. But yeah, at least I didn't lose her. So there she is. I put her back and she went in and yeah, all was well. But that could, yeah, that was almost a very, very bad mistake. And there she is. And there she went. Yeah. And thank you so much for watching. And if you like and enjoy what you are seeing on this channel, please consider subscribing as well as commenting and liking. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye.